What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with some more Death Note reaction. Today I'm going to do episode 21 and 22. Um, whew, decisions, decisions. What are these decisions? Go, why are these decisions being made right now by Mr. L? Mr. L, man. I do understand where the, where the, um, the ex cops or, you know, I do understand their stance. I mean, it's a standby and make more people get murdered. Um, I do understand their situation. It's a tough decision. And I understand why L is deciding to separate himself and be like, listen, if I don't catch Kira, none of this will stop. Regardless of if you're going to say, okay. We know who's behind it. You still don't know who Kira is. Still don't know who Kira is. So you have to keep looking for Kira because even if you take down the Yatsuba people, still not going to make a difference because Kira is still out there. She's still going to find maybe another um, company to manipulate and to do this with. So on on L's decision, I know why he decides separate because it's like, listen, man, you guys not seeing the bigger picture here. So I have to separate myself from you guys. And I'm taking light with me. And of course, Misa Misa, Misa Misa. Okay. So it's a pretty dope, um, two episodes. I think it was three episodes I did last time. Right. So they are only going to get to, don't worry. Um, you know, we will a lot of people saying man season two sucks i'm still gonna watch it um but a lot of people is telling me already that season two is not as good as season one um i'm still gonna watch it to have the experience for myself you guys can decide if you want to watch it with me or not but i'm going along for the whole journey until we catch up to whatever is gonna come next i will not be watching the movie um i think it's a netflix movie i'll probably watch it just to have a comparison and probably just do a review on it but i won't be reacting to it um because i i heard it's pretty bad you know what i'm saying like it's not a true depiction of what happened in the anime and if you're not going to stay true to that like we don't want the the whole dragon ball revolution um situation again we need that bleach situation when it comes on to live action um representation of an anime or manga we need that bleach situation. I liked the bleach movie. I didn't love it. Um, I think they could have done a lot better in this day and age. I think they could have done a lot better. Uh, but they did do a lot of the, the good stuff like, um, the relationship and stuff between, um, Rukia and, and Ichigo. They did a really good job with that. I want to talk about that. Let's jump into these reaction, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, let's go see what L and Light is going to be up to now. Now that they're not going to be connected to the headquarters, the cops anymore. Now they, they're going to be doing this separately to find who Kira is. We all know that Light is Kira, but I do not know what Light is up to. And I, I told you guys that I'm preparing myself for the mind F that is coming. Um... Cause I know it's coming. I know there's light put all of this stuff in motion. And I'm telling you, I just know that when this thing is revealed, I'm going to have to pause it multiple times to know what the hell to understand the whole plan when it's being explained. Cause I know it's going to be explained and it's going to mind F the hell out of me so i'm gonna jump into these reactions man i'll see you guys for it if you are new and you're watching my reactions for the first time we only do full reactions no highlights over here i won't put highlights on youtube so don't expect to watch it on youtube if you can't deal with my format over here please by all means go support another channel there's plenty of people who risk putting anime up on YouTube and risk their channel getting copyright strikes. I'm not doing that for my channel because I do not have time to waste fighting YouTube over this stuff. Um, and YouTube seems 
YouTube seems to side with the people who are making these copyright claims more than they, they do side with the YouTubers. So, saying that, you guys know my format. You come over here, enjoy the format. You don't like to go to an, to an outside source to watch it. That's fine. That's okay. As I said, man, I'm trying to build a community here. So, basically, it's only people who are going to love my format are going to be here. So, I've just come to that acceptance. And eventually, I'll get to my goals. Our next goal, of course, next big goal is to have 10,000 subscribers. So, I'm putting that out here into existence. Okay. We're almost at 2,000. We're at 18,000, almost 19,000 now. And we're almost um, another hundred and something like 120 should get us to 2000 subscribers. But our ultimate goal, biggest goal right now is to hit 10,000 subscribers and do it the right way. So tell your friends about it, man. Do full reactions for anime over here. So let's jump, jump into today's reactions of Death Note. And I will see you guys for the review. Link is down in the description. Don't forget, go watch the reaction, come back for the review, support the boy. Welcome back guys. Those two episodes were so good. I can't even describe to you guys how I feel about this anime. I mean, you see the look on my face. I can't. Stop smiling, man. When this stuff is going on, it's just like, I'm so intrigued by this story because it's like, bruh. Mm. I'm glad that I, don't, I, I still don't know how, if this is a part of Light's plan. It feels like it is. You know what I'm saying? It feels like it's a part of the plan for Rem to reveal herself back to Misa. It feels like it's all orchestrated, and that's that's the thing. Like, I think maybe Misa went off book, but does did Light expect her to go off book? That's the thing too. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah oh man, there's so much to think about. These two episodes were good, man. Um, L notices she he noticed something about Misa when Misa came back. He noticed something. He noticed that she was like not questioning light as like she was before again. Like she reverted back to when she was second Kira when she was like, oh, I'll do whatever you say, blah, 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 right? So that's, he noticed it. So what's going to happen now with what is his Higushi guy or whatever his name is, Higushi. Uh, yeah, I think it's Iguchi, whatever. Um, what is going to happen with this guy now? Is it gonna be is it gonna be a situation where um they have a setup as it at his home? They try and they probably put cameras in his house. I don't know. Maybe that's what why L told um old girl to probably break into his house again or something. I don't remember exactly. But if they set up camera in his house, because they want to know what he uses to kill. He want, they want to know what the method that Kira uses to kill. Um, So, he needs to... What is he rushing for again? He's rushing... He needs to kill this guy on TV, but he needs to know his real name. Right? He needs to know his real name. He doesn't know his real name. Um, so he needs to to um, to find that out. So, I mean... This anime is, is so good, bro. Like, it's, it's so hard sometimes to do even a proper review sometimes. Because, it, because it's like, there's so many... They're hitting so many cylinders in your brain. You know what I'm saying? So many thought your thought process your mind is all over the place because you're thinking trying to figure it out before they show it in the show you know what i'm saying like you're trying to figure it out 
before they actually reveal what's going on in the show and it mind f's the shit out of you it's just awesome how they do it man and i'm glad that that death note i'm glad that the that the writing in the show is so good it keeps you on your toes man so thank you guys for watching as always man these two episodes as i said again and again and again this anime just keeps getting better as you go along which i so appreciate because i hate when animes i hate when animes do this this is what i hate about animes i hate when they try to go into too much there's this build up and then there's this huge lull in the middle whether it be filler or whether it be just a story that nobody cares about or an arc that nobody cares about i hate when animes do that your anime is supposed to be if you're writing a story it's for example attack on titan you're writing a story consistency 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 they just keep hitting you with consistency of the story consistency they never fail with their consistency same thing with death note consistency 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 can't say the same for naruto loved it my favorite anime of all time my favorite um manga of all times but i have an emotional attachment to naruto so that's why i said i'm gonna take it off of my top five and just put it in a category by itself because it i have a way it's a deeper connection to that anime than just me just watching it for entertainment you get what i'm saying and to to um it's just it's on a different tier by itself for me so when it comes on to consistency man these animes that you guys are suggesting are so good they're so good at that i have not watched season two of this yet so i don't know how bad the story got as in the storytelling of um of death no god why you guys are saying it's it's bad you know i'm still gonna watch it as i said still gonna react to it um and judge it for myself because i want to see if it does go bad or if it's doable. it's kind of like the situation with with game of thrones we had this huge expectancy go, going forward from you know season five forward and then the quality of game of thrones is kind of went down just a small notch but it was very noticeable how the story wasn't really the story the same story anymore it was like we didn't have any more dope dialogue and stuff like that it was it was more like oh dragons boom white walkers yeah that's what we're supposed to be afraid of okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying the, the season still was cool six and seven was still was cool um eight up until you know episode four was cool so there were still some storytelling acts aspect to it but consistency in the storytelling is what killed game of thrones in season eight there was no consistency so that's what i'm saying man when it comes down to storytelling consistency is key check out um lelouch you know what i'm saying lelouch of the rebellion you know what i'm saying check that code Geass out man when you talk about consistency throughout two seasons of anime that is the purest example i can find at this moment ippo is another one consistency that i've watched you know what i'm saying i could sit here and name animes that have very good consistency um bleach is another one too very consistent with the story um didn't really like some of the arcs um i think the arc that i didn't like the arc that came the the shinigami I don't even remember what it's called, man. That's because it's so forgettable. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's the arc where he gets his Shinigami powers back, it was so, uh, I don't want to say weird, but it was so off cuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just didn't feel like, it didn't feel like it's about Bleach anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was so off. And then they showed up, gave him his Shinigami powers back, and then I felt like I was in Bleach again. Like, the whole thing leading up to it 
just kind of didn't make sense. I'm just like, why didn't they just do this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why the lead up? I mean, it made him more sauce, don't get me wrong, when he got his powers back. But it was just like, what was this arc all about? You know what I mean? To, to find out that there was another substitute um, Shinigami that was shunned. And he's telling him, oh, this is what's probably going to happen to you too. And Ichigo was like, hell no, they're my friends. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was weird. Maybe I have to watch it over back, watch it again to, to probably try to find some meaning out of it. But it, was, it wasn't the greatest. I think it's the worst arc in Bleach ever. You guys should know the arc I'm talking about because it's the last arc. Because we have, it's the last arc. With, then they discontinued the anime. It's the last arc. You got his Shinigami powers back, defeated the guy, and you know what I'm saying? When he, After that, there was no more episodes. But we did get the final arc in the manga, right? So, and it was dope to me. So, in Death Note, what I'm talking about is consistency is key, man. Always. I love when animes... When stories stick with their consistency with character development, the, the um, character development, the storytelling, all of that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Consistency is key. So I love when 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 uh, mangas, anime. I love when they do that because it it just makes you feel like you're involved in that world. You feel like a character in the story, which is not something that every writer can do to get a person to have an immersive experience in in their world that you're trying to create so that's awesome man thank you guys for listening as always um this is it for me tonight on death note thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will see you guys for some more brain some more kung fu for the brains next time Thank you guys for watching. You are Terror Squad, and I will miss you guys until next week. Peace.